In this video, we will look at how to add together vectors using what's called the component method. The problem is a displacement question, but it works for any style of vector. Here we've got a bear escaping from the city zoo. He first walks 10 kilometers in a direction 30 degrees north of east, then turns and walks another 5 kilometers southeast. And the question is asking, where do we find him in the end? In other words, what is the bear's final displacement? So to do this, we want to separate the vectors and look at each one independently. The bear first walks in a direction of 10 kilometers at 30 degrees north of east, as shown, and then we're adding to that a 5 kilometer vector southeast, which automatically means 45 degrees. We wish to determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant displacement, the red arrow vector. And we're going to do this by breaking down our original vectors into components. We see that the first 10 kilometer vector has an x or horizontal component given by 10 cos 30 to give us 8.7 kilometers. And similarly, we can calculate the vertical or y component to be 5 kilometers using 10 sine 30. So what we've done is we've broken down that 10 kilometer vector into a horizontal and a vertical component, which you can imagine just replaces that 10 kilometer motion. So instead of walking 30 degrees, 10 kilometers, the bear can walk first 8.7 kilometers in the easterly direction, and then an additional five kilometers north and achieve the same final result. If you look at our five kilometer vector, we've broken that one down as well into two 3.5 kilometer vectors one towards the east and one towards the south. Now the whole goal of the component method is to simplify our problem into horizontal and vertical directions. So you can imagine the original 10 kilometer and 5 kilometer vectors disappear and they're now consisting of horizontal and vertical directions only. So it makes our job a lot easier because parallel vectors are very easy to add. You draw them tip to tail just like any other vector, but there's no trigonometry involved. And all we have to do is add up the numbers as we see them. Arranging the two horizontal vectors together, we get 8.7 plus 3.5, and that gives us a horizontal component of 12.2 kilometers towards the east. Similarly, we can do the same thing with our two vertical components, the two purple lines adding the 5 kilometer vector tip to tail to the 3.5 kilometer vector gives us an overall vertical displacement of 1.5 kilometers towards the north. So we've already simplified our diagram a great deal. Now remember the task was to figure out the overall displacement of the bear. And since we know the horizontal and vertical components of this overall displacement, it's simply a matter of the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the hypotenuse. Finally, we need to determine what direction it's acting in, and all we have to use is simple SOHCAHTOA, since we have a right triangle, to get an angle using the tangent of 7 degrees north of east. Putting it all together gives us a final displacement of 12.3 kilometers at 7 degrees north of the east line for the bear's final displacement.